What is up guys, Expert Winner here, Wooden Call Me Dominic, we are back here with WWE 2K20, my career man. So, let's speak with Red. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. Alright, well the door's open if I'm back for rank and file 5. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right, that was uh, special, I guess. Cool. All right, let's speak with Charlotte Flair. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well, while you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the same thing? Because your dad is Ric Flair? Charlotte Flair? Didn't you do the exact same thing? Exactly. <laughs> not even close. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, beating me is not even on your list as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. Play match, skip match. Um, let's skip the match. I don't feel like fighting Charlotte at the moment. All right, let's continue story. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow, didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. Oh shit, we're getting our action figures now. Let's do this. Check it out, my first action figure. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail on your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. 
<laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I would team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Oh, yeah. No, thank you. I guess we could do that. Oh, great. Here we go. A mixed tag match. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so it looks like we are versing um, them. Great, this is going to be fun. Please tell me there's uh, objectives. Otherwise, I'm just going to skip it, eh? Is there objectives? Well, they don't even come out together. No one comes out together. Is there? No, there isn't. All right. I'll see you guys when I finish this match, I guess. All right, there we go. We just picked up the victory just then. That was an okay match, I guess. Wasn't that difficult? All right, let's move on. In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. Jesus. Okay. So we're teaming up with Mickey James. All right, let's do this. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it. It hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting-edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement, or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from. But like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Or what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win Women's Tag Team Championships with Mickey James. All right, let's do this. Tag in with Mickey. All right, let's do this. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, the Iconics. 
We just said iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for Why, Why Australia, Australia is, is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects. All right, so I can get Australian behind this. Culture. Let's and do explain this. Explain Why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket, which has I changed my to mind. Do with Filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. I do not to like base a cricket. Sport, I have cricket bats. Are you kidding me? Laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law Shouldn't one. take long. Cricket team my consists ass. of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. All right. I don't want to hit, sit here and listen about cricket. I'm not a fan of cricket. All right. Let's do this. You were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old. Get it? Hilarious. She really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match. And I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. All right, so we're going to tag with Mickey against the Iconics. All right, let's do this. Going into this match with so much at stake. All right, let's do this. All right, let's go. As Red win the match by pinfall. Oh, okay then. All right. Wait, why do we? Oh, because we got hit by the cricket fans. Okay. Jesus. All right, let's do this. There we go. Oh, I missed the super kick. Oh, get up, Red. Get up, Red. Okay, good. It's not meant to change to Mickey. What was that? Didn't know you were on ice skates. Dang it. Alright, let's go, Billy. 
belly. Meteora. Let's do the people's moonsault. Let's do this. People's moonsault. Let's go. Oh, people's moonside I get him, I guess. Bop. Alright, let's take it, Mickey. Let Mickey have a shot at this. Dang it. Alright, come on. Take Mickey. Where's Mickey? Hot tag, hot tag, hot tag, hot tag. I thought I had a hot tag. Alright, uh, sure. Let's go, Mickey. Take out Peyton. Alright, Therese Press. Pa Beautiful drop kick to the back. Ooh, Mr. Thrust kick. That was bad. Oh no. Guys, press again. Beautiful drop kick. Elbow drop. Alright, let's go. Nice Russian leg sweep. Oh, straight into the midsection. Ah, oh, straight down. Let's go. Working on her leg right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was not meant to do that one again. Beautiful drop kick. Peyton races down the red house. Taking her down. Oh no. Dang it. Okay, so you're gonna tag, tag Billy Kay in there. Sure, whatever. Come on, get up. There we go. Oh, Mickey. Was a bad idea. Go for the cover, eh? Come on. Alright. Pick her up. Let's go tag um red in. Dang it. Where's Peyton at? Uh oh, top right oh there's Peyton. Beautiful cross body. Our sweep into the corner. Tag ready. Beautiful kick into the middle section. Belly to side suplex. Oh no. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and poison runner. Let's go. Just take you out, and now I can do a super kick. 
two, three. Let's go. Baba. All right. Winners. All right. So let's move on. That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the Tag Team Championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It exactly means what I mean. No disqualification, tornado tag. Or willy willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey. You, you do? Pack an extra week I of don't. Clothes. You know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> <laughs> they are saying some words and I don't even know what, what they mean. Oh, well, let's move on, I guess. Oh, no, Wigan. Okay. So, we're back here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the Super Showdown match to next episode. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more WWE 2K20 Micro So, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.